This is the Mall Shopping Centre in Camberley. First into Army and Navy. These are really nice 80s houses, as close as it feels. All nice and old fashioned. You can see they were once painted black, but most of the paint has come off over time. The lift here is a Cone Novel Elements lift. Give me static shock. That's a Cone Novel Elements indicator. Novel elements with most. That's M nice M series door motor. Second floor. Generic voice. Novel elements was mostly used on early eco discs in the con in continental Europe. And now to the goods lift, which is an awesome completely original 1940s Otis. This lift has Otis's signature two-speed levelling. And this is the good lift. Really old Otis. Deadman. It's a Deadman button. Oh, that's already here. It's the door handle. It's not a dead one, but it's actually already here. Awesome, nice, smooth. This gate's nice, smooth, light gate. Awesome. Go to push the button down for me. This is so. It's one of the most awesome lifts I've ever been in. Now it's the lift in Primark. <laughs> Which is an Otis Gentry with Dewhurst. A lot of Primarks like this. And now to the next lift. This lift goes from the staff car park onto the roof as some of the shops have a staff only entrance located on the roof. This lift has been modernised by Cone in the 80s, but I can't tell what it would have been originally. And now to this Cone goods lift. Seven Door UK Limited. Been older, less modernised by Kelly.
handle's not a very good shape. I've roofed the mall. It wasn't even that difficult. I seem to have reached a dead end. I have to go back down in the lift. Also, there's an in use light, and the logic and the way it works seems to be like Evans logic. So this could be a modernised Evans. And maybe the gates. Come on, close. Seems to have moved down like that. It seems to be recalling. Seems to recall every time you shut the doors, which is strange. It appears to have been, been an Evans based on the way the in use light works and you modernised by cone. This charity shop has an original old Evans. <laughs> original Evans orange from the 70s. Yes. But sadly it no longer works. And this is a different part of the roof. And now to the lift in TK Maxx, which is a Gen 2. Pretty blue light in the middle. Door closed doesn't work. Now into Sainsbury's, which is mostly very boring, but does have a dumb waiter with old Dewhurst buttons. These look like old Dewhurst. And now to the lifts. That's the next lift. These are the lifts in the car park. And these used to be... These... These used to be awesome Otis Series 1s. Um, and they had... They had and they've now been completely replaced. They used to have Otis Series 1 pictures and really awesome. And they had this rather ambient mode noise. Like, mm, it was, they were really nice. Now they've been replaced. Stupid generic. These big awesome Otis has now been replaced with a horrid generic. Which floor? Five. Look how slowly it accelerates. This is really poor quality. The, the top speed's actually decent, but it accelerates very slowly. And basically everything's been replaced with nothing original. And now to the other lifts. Some more stupid generics. These are originally awesome Otis. Going down. Fifth floor. Uh, yeah, dead. This is the other lift, and it seems to go up to this strange floor, but it doesn't actually. That's just a mirror. It makes it seem to go even higher. It looks glass. It's a really convincing effect. These new lifts have been converted to stupid generics. Less the, the logic is less. The logic is stupid. Less the controls. Going down. Please mind the door. They used to be awesome houses, lovely Leicester controls, buttons do have everything Going horrid. Down. Boring, generic. This place has Floor no two. taste in no taste in lifts. Doors open. Euro doors. And also, especially this lift does actually have intelligent leveling, but the speed at which it le the speed at which it decelerates is so slow. It might as well not have intelligent leveling because it decelerates so slowly. And the intelligent leveling it does have, um, I'm I'm not sure if it is actually proper full intelligent leveling. 
Anyway, now to the other lift. There's this lift here, which has sadly been decommissioned. It used to be an awesome 70s Otis. This one actually feels quite stiff for a 70s Otis. These arrows look slightly different to each other, which is weird. This is an awesome 70s Otis. This shopping center has no taste in lifts. They've, they've turned it off. That sign there says Teckles Avenue, no access to Teckles Way. So people don't get confused. And that sign there, strangely, says Brackendale Road unadopted. I wonder why it says that. Unadopted road, strictly no parking. And, and that car's parked on it. They obviously don't care. It's strange. Or maybe, maybe it's just that, that maybe what it means is that there's, there's no company um, or organisation with the responsibility to paint double yellow lines on the road so they have a no parking sign instead. That's strange. Like, that, it's like no one has the responsibility to paint the double yellow lines, but it's, they're still not allowed to park there.